ignored but safely bundled up, Harry set off for the tallest tower. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. What's up guys, it's your boy Metraptor, also known as Luxanus Patella, and welcome to another part of Metal Gear and the Solid Stone. Last time we had to survive Snape's potions lesson and escape from a troll, but now it is time to actually do some sneaking around in the library, because we have to sneak from Filch. And Filch is a really weird NPC when it comes to sneaking around and stuff. So we're just gonna cast Alahomora here, which should trigger Filch to be here. Now, I am doing this probably all wrong, because uh, he is still there, and I really have to sneak around in order to make sure I do not get caught. What's actually more amusing though is that Harry still makes the noises when he wants to jump and grab onto stuff. So all the <laughs> noises, Filch, surely. Surely you must hear all of this crap, but no, he doesn't. So we're gonna do some tricky jumping, which, to be fair, we don't really have to do. It's just uh, intruder, intruder yes. in the forbidden corridor. Random dialogue, but yeah, it's just all fun and games. But all the Ugh sounds are just hilarious. So this part was quite easy, I mean, really, there was nothing to it, so let's go uh, save it up. But now things get a little bit more interesting, because uh, there are stages in this. Damn you, Filch, and your sneaky passageways, just... What? I think even Fred and George probably knew about this one, since they seem to pop up from nothing. So let's continue. And this is Filch encounter number two. Just <laughs> ra randomly, he's just there. It's just what's going on. So again, this is one of those little tricks that you can do in order to make sure that Filch is actually distracted, so you can actually safely climb up this. Which is all lovely, lovely. Again, it would be quite kind of strange when you see beans just randomly disappearing because someone is just grabbing them or something. So you might be wondering what are the rules of this sneaking game, it's quite easy. You can do whatever you want as long as you're stationary because then you're invisible. Filch cannot see you when you're on top of a bookcase, so when you reach higher ground, you're pretty much always safe. I think, because I haven't seen an instance where Filch will actually catch you if you're uh, on top of a bookcase. Now the thing is that whenever you want to try to cast a spell, you become visible. That's when you hear the sound effects. I'll just do it one more time in order to make sure you actually get the sound effects. You see, I was visible there for just a second, but Filch is too damn blind to see, or to hear, because I'm still making the huh noises, and uh, my wand also casts some uh, some volumes of some sort of some sound. But anyways, let's uh, let's just try and do this. Where is he? Pray I don't find you, my stealthy little student. My stealthy little student, my solid snake, my deus ex Adam Jensen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I had to make that joke, I had to. But what, what was I trying to say? Oh yes, I like it that Harry actually tries to uh, whisper old spells. Like he says, flippendo. But uh, still, it doesn't make any damn sense to do so. But anyways. Ugh. Let's just uh, let's just go to the next stage, I think. The game is quite forgiving in that aspect, as you can see just about now, I mean after this cutscene. It's that after every stage the game allows you to save up, because as, uh, as I could see from some of the comments, they were like, oh boy, the next part is going to be so much fun, oh boy, the next part, oh boy, there was like a bit of hype 
in the comments. Um, that was because, yeah, I was terrified to play this level as a kid. Let's be honest. You have to sneak from Filch? Ah, that's just scary. Anyways, let's uh, save it up first. So with that saved up, we can uh, safely continue. With stage 3. <laughs> no, seriously, it's like a stage thing. It's like every damn time you just, you know, it's, it's a new level. So this level starts out with uh, you casting Flipendo, uh, so you can knock this bookshelf. Where is he? Pray I don't find you, my stealthy little student. My stealthy little student. So yeah, again, uh, of course, Filch will be um, triggered to actually inspect on some of the events that have happened. I mean, I would be pretty spooked if uh, suddenly a bookcase would drop. Oh well. Uh, so we just go in here and there seems there's nothing much else to do but to cast Alahomora. Now, of course, this will trigger Filch, so make sure you do not really stand still. So you just gotta wait for a little bit, and that's the whole game really, just no patterns and wait and uh, make sure you do not screw up in some parts. It's gonna be a quite slow part from that oh. retrospective. Now, how can I get up there? Thankfully, Filch does not respond to the uh, flipendo switches, so uh, it's not like he will storm in this room and suddenly, you know, he will uh, trap you because that would be quite uh, cheap of the game. So you can see he's coming. We're just gonna wait for him to uh, walk by. And then we're just gonna go and uh, sprint back towards the bookcase and then climb up again. So here we go. And you can make <laughs> really ridiculous jumps with that slope, so it's uh, it's quite amazing. So again, hi Mr. Filch, we're just gonna bunny hop through some bookcases. And then we're gonna hit another Flipendo switch. That sound. <laughs> Of course, filter would not come up here. In the forbidden corridor. It's really strange how uh, suddenly Filch has uh, some dialogue. I mean, during my practice when he was pretty much silent all the time. Again, do not jump off and go there immediately because Filch will be there first to inspect. And nothing happens. So again, we just stand still and we wait until it's our turn. Which is about now. So again, we do this. And then you're probably thinking, oh boy, we have to uh, walk to the, to, the, to the bookcase again. And you're right, we do. Also, we're going to use a little cheat, which I like to call wall camera angles to... Uh, to increase the perception of the player. No, seriously, that's just... I mean, come on. Even in stealth games you do this. You just try to nudge the camera angle just to make sure you can't see what's behind a corner or something without actually being able to see it with your own eyes or with the eyes of the character you're playing against. Now, this is interesting. Now Filch has his <laughs> moment. Uh, where is he? Pray I don't find come you, on, just stupid. make sure. This is the part where usually um, things can go horribly wrong if you uh, fall down uh. improperly. But now he's over there, so that's good. Uh. So we can walk in here. Pretty much you're, I think, well, for 99%, I think you're safe. Because now we have to go back up the bookcase. Yes. And then we have to go in here, and then we have to, have to uh, cast Lumos. Well, this is relatively easy because, you know, this time there's a very short path to go back up again. And like I said, once you reach higher ground, it's quite easy, actually. Just make sure you don't screw up your jumps, of course, because then uh, you're going to have a bad time. And again, we're going to go up here, and then we have to cast Lumos. And this time we actually get a unique little music piece whenever we hit this Lumo statue. Gargoyle. Whatever. Let's do this. So 
So yeah, now it seems that, uh, you know, there are uh, some platforms that have appeared. I can see filter over there, so that's good. That means I could just do this and happily sneak over here. Filch does not seem to be interested in any of this happening at the other room, so you're practically safe in here. So then we're going to climb up the tower. Now, this has to be done through multiple sections. First off, we get in here, and you probably think, well, let's just hit the flipendo switch, because that allows the gate to be opened, because we actually have to do go back here. And guess what? You're safe, but... Not entirely, because somehow Filch decides there's nothing left to do here, so let's use another Fred and George shortcut to go to the next area. And where might this next area be? We don't know yet. Weird camera glitch that happens, and more Lumos platforms have appeared, which means that we have to uh, backtrack a little bit. The game also shows you where the next... Lumo statue is, or gargoyle. I mean, I keep saying Lumo statue all the time, don't I? Also, there was a lag spike here just then. I don't know what happened, but uh, that was just a little bit of a freeze there. Anyways, let's continue. Now we have some new platforms. Sorry. Lag spike, just again. Let's continue. Ugh. So we have to jump up here. And now we are almost at the next part. Thankfully, there is a Lumos platform there as well, so let's jump on it. And then let's jump here. Oof, <laughs> just made it. And let's activate some more platforms. I like this music. It's quite mystic. I love it. And yes, I also did skip that one platform that was right over there-ish. I don't know. It seemed to be a bit off place, I think. Oh well, let's go grab that bean. And yeah, then we can go to the next area. But, and this is a really strange but, but if you drop down here, and it seems like a huge drop, but you actually do not get damage. You open this chest, stand back a bit, because there is the one wizard card in this level. So yeah, that's I think is Helga Hufflepuff, which is wizard card number 22. So there's only three more to go. And it's quite easily recognizable with this uh, painting, I think. I think it's still the painting. Yeah, it's the painting. Uh, so it's quite easily recognizable. Now you think, but how do we get back up again? Well, yeah, that's a little bit of a sacrifice you have to take. It opens up, and guess what? You have to do the whole thing all over again. So if you're not really good with platforming and jumping and all that kind of shenanigans, I'm sorry, but you really do have to go through the struggle. Oh well. Eh. But this time we can actually just... Uh, Continue from there on out. Oof, pff, that just went right. I think you can make this jump too. Yep, you can. You can just simply nudge to it and you'll automatically climb. So now we're back here again, and this time we do have to uh, take the platforming seriously. So here we go. Yeah, this jump is a bit nasty. And then you have made it, but we are not done yet. But first, we can save up. Alrighty, so now that we have saved up, let's just activate another secret. Which is just a treasure chest, and in this treasure chest will be four beans. Which brings our total up to 562. Which is a lot, just seriously a lot. So uh, more jumping to do with a bottomless pit. Seriously, Harry, you've got balls of steel for doing this. I mean... I would have given up by now, seriously. I mean, even if you didn't know Lumos and there were regular platforms, I still wouldn't have done this crap. Okay, so now for this platform, I think it's a bit off place, but whatever, we're gonna try and jump on it. And once you do, 
you will trigger an event with Filch. Because you might be thinking, oh, let's just jump to the middle. But no, Filch will be there. You've triggered it. So now Filch will be walking left to right. And you really have to time when you're going to walk because you have to sprint to the middle and hit the flipender switch. Then you'll activate some sort of a cutscene. But you really have to take your time. Really just wait till he's at the very end and then you go sprint for him. Alrighty. Do you think I'm blind? I'm not letting anyone into that tower tonight. So now Filch is gonna patrol on the other side. As in he's just gonna yeah, he's just gonna patrol there. And now we have to create a distraction. But once we actually do step forward, we get a cutscene first. Thieves, you'll be banished for this. That could come in handy if I have to distract Filch along the way. So at this point the game is like, a doy, you have to break a vase because otherwise you're not going to make it. A doy, a doy. I mean, okay, as a, as a young kid, first I had no idea really what to do. I really was just trying to sprint for it and then just try to do it. But... You know. Intruder! Intruder! In the Forbidden Corridor! 